The day has come. We are taking a little break. First coffee of the day. Do you guys want to share a deal? First PR package. I got a red curry. Aiden got a Penang curry. Hello, it is Thursday and it is moving day. Finally, the day has come. I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. I already have started packing things into my parents' trailer. We only have the moving elevator for two hours, so we wanna make sure that we're kind of like, you know, doing things. I also dyed my hair. I don't know if you guys can tell. It was just looking very brassy and I want it to look cohesive and all one color, but I also just didn't wanna bring all the dye over to my new place and like mess it up and stuff. And I'm loving actually surprisingly because usually I don't love my natural hair color. It is so exciting to be moving. If you guys don't know or you're new here, I am moving to Toronto with my boyfriend. I do have to start moving some things into my car. I am just so excited. It's gonna be weird because you guys aren't gonna see this background like really anymore. I'm so excited that I can't speak. I actually made Aiden take footage of the apartment while it was empty because he started moving things over yesterday because he lives close by already. And then my mom is Buddhist, so she has to like bless the house and like, you know, do all that stuff. I've packed for like the last like week. I've done so much. I'm so tired, but I'm so excited to finally unpack my life over there and actually just like live there and not have to commute downtown every weekend to see Aiden, even though it's fucking expensive. It is, it is so, so expensive. expensive. I am trying to hustle YouTube and become a YouTuber. This would be my dream. This would be my full on dream to do YouTube every day of my life. I have the self motivation to do it because I'll wake up early in the morning just to edit. Whereas I feel like if I really didn't like it, I would not do that. Like I'd just be like, okay, that's enough. We are done here. We're gonna get going and I'm gonna bring you guys along. But if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That way you can follow me on my journey. Well, Aiden and mine. Aid mine and Aiden. Mine and Aiden's. I don't know. Grammar's not my strong suit. You can follow us on our journey in moving and then also decorating our house. I'm so excited. I'm also planning on filming more TikToks because I'm not very active on TikTok, but I'm trying really hard to film TikToks on weekdays and then YouTube on weekends. But anyways, let's get going. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. I love all of you guys. We also just hit 2,400 subscribers today. So, you know, it's just a bonus that I'm moving in and we hit 2400. I couldn't have done it without you guys, as cheesy and lame and as many times as you've heard YouTubers say, but it is the truth. You guys are my world, my little community. I'm so glad. I kind of kept you guys like a, not like a secret, but like I don't promote my YouTube to my friends and family really. So everyone here has just genuinely wanted to support me and watch me, which makes me feel even better. And I just feel like I really have a good connection with you guys. So I'm so grateful. We are in the car, we are ready to go. And I have legit all my stuff here in my plant. I repotted my plant really quickly because I was scared it had gnats and I didn't want that to infest my condo. And a few leaves dropped, so now I'm sad. Prune the roots, so that was another thing I had to do anyways. Let's go downtown now. Yeah. I don't know how to turn it on either. I don't live here. I don't know how to turn this thing on. That's the oven. Here's no button. Let me turn this on. Oh god. Guys, we're in the apartment. I'm gonna insert the full apartment tour now because honestly, I have a lot of stuff to do, so I'm gonna do that. And then I will talk to you guys when I have a moment. Hello, I am finally in the apartment. We've been moving basically all day and we have all our little plants and stuff in here. We do still have quite a few things to bring from Aiden's place and then also we do have to get a couch. So that's what we have to do. Here's Aiden. He hasn't been on camera yet today. Light only comes in this way, so you guys are always just gonna see my kitchen, I guess. I'm very tired, my parents left. My poor mom was so upset. She was like, you're leaving me. I felt bad. She made those sniffly sounds that she made when my dog died, and it kind of triggered me. <laughs> His feet stink so bad that he Ow. is like, I need to shower right now. So we got these teak chairs a while ago. I did bring this little steam cleaner thingy to clean them. But we do have to buy a new shower curtain tomorrow. My mom noticed that the light isn't working in here. That light doesn't yeah. work in. We are taking a little break, first coffee of the day. I didn't realize they had the pistachio 
cold brew. It smells really good. Yay, Aiden brought me pine soul. My fingers are bleeding from peeling the stickers off of the plates. So I'm doing that right now, and then we are planning to eat a little bit later since we're having this now. This is literally our first coffee of the day, and I think this is the least caffeinated Aiden and I have ever been in our lives for the last, like, months. Years, man. I love the sweet cream. All right, back to work. Function. Gotta keep an eye out for Selena. Don't. Guys, we got pizza pizza because for some reason this is what I'm craving. I'm about to get my period. Creamy garlic is so good. Like, you cannot deny how good creamy garlic is. Also, this is the only table we have right now, so this is what we're eating on. Don't you guys like your coffee table? Good old guys. Real champagne. Are you guys ready? I'm scared. Okay, ready? Are you not getting a video or a picture or whatever? Picture ever. This is so nice, baby. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, now I have a second surprise. Then it's a Coke Zero. Ah! My baby, it's a Coke Zero. Creamy garlic all the way. Good morning. I just slept my first night in our condo in Aiden's office because he's currently still sleeping. Obviously, I'm not gonna go work at my desk if he's still sleeping. Last night, I got sad because I kept thinking about how my nine-year-old cat or 10-year-old cat this year is gonna think that I abandoned her and she's gonna hate me. So I started crying and I couldn't sleep because I was like, I was telling Aiden that I felt like imposter syndrome because I've been living at home for so long and then I moved into this like super, super nice condo. Don't feel like it's real. Also, I think it was just more so because like my mom never gets emotional triggered me with her little noises that she was making because literally like the same noises she made when our dog was passing away but like to be fair i live 35 minutes away i can go back home as much as i want i didn't record like a shit ton yesterday because i was just honestly so tired and so focused on setting up we do still have like quite a bit of stuff we're also supposed to pick up our couch today but we don't know if a snowstorm is coming so we might not be able to go pick it up just in case it gets really bad it does seem pretty windy but if it does get super bad then we're just gonna go on sunday to pick up the couch i do have to set up my coffee corner which is another thing i'm gonna do later today after i'm done editing almost 10 o'clock now so i think i'm gonna edit for an hour i'm gonna have to dig through my boxes because i did not unpack my clothes yet that's something i'm gonna do today which is not gonna be fun i also forgot my north face jacket at home so i'm gonna have to go home at some point to get that and then we're also planning on going to ikea today because we don't want to go on the weekend when it's like super super busy we were thinking of getting some lamps and stuff i also have to do my budgeting sheet i didn't realize how short february was can we take in how bright it is in here it's so nice anyways i'm gonna stop talking so i can get some work done i will talk to you guys in a little bit putting a pause on editing because i'm very tired just because i feel like i don't want to spend too much time i also want to get ready and then film a tiktok and set up my coffee and then i also want to make aiden and i coffee do you guys want to see our view it's so pretty isn't she gorgeous? Also last night, Aiden surprised me with... Actually, he didn't surprise me with it yet. I just found it. Also, I have some Vaseline that I've been putting on my eczema. It's been working really well. I just basically have to have it slathered on. I spent like an hour making coffee because I realized I didn't have a scale and I need a scale in order to weigh my beans And then also when I was making my coffee, I couldn't find the honey So then I started panicking and I was like, oh my god I'm gonna have to have a latte with no freaking sugar in it And then that's when I was like, maybe I should convert to a no syrup sugar girly Also, I've never owned glass straws I was telling Aiden, the straw feels like very nice in my mouth like it's so smooth first pr package from skin food and they sent me four items i'm so excited because i've actually used their products before all their stuff looks so luxe and so nice the first thing they sent me was the black sugar perfect scrub foam for easy makeup removal and cleansing for a smooth clear complexion i'm excited to try it the next thing i got was the carrot calming water pads beta carotene from carrot seed oil vegan formula 
This thing's huge. Look how cute the packaging is. It's just so natural and like pretty. I'm so anal about opening packages. I like have to put it back in the container. Otherwise I feel uneasy. The next thing I got was a sunscreen and it is their SPF 50 plus. I think it's like a blueberry one, but it's so cute. Like look at the packaging. It's beautiful. Very moisturizing sun cream. And it's like a very like milky texture. And then the final thing I got was this Royal Honey Propolis essence it comes in a glass bottle so it's kind of bouge it comes with a dropper but when you twist it the top like opens and then you can like open it and use the dropper it's so cool thank you skin food so much for sending the stuff over i'm so excited to try it aiden is awake now so we are probably going to head to ikea soon and then last night unfortunately one of our plates did have a crack in it we have to bring it back to the bay and see if we can get an exchange on one of them luckily it was just one i was really paranoid taking out the rest because i was like oh my fucking god like i'm gonna cry if all these are broken also my manager was so nice she sent me an uber eats gift card it was just so nice like i didn't expect her to do that and i was like that's so kind that's so nice people are so nice We are finally back home. We got a bunch of stuff. The snowstorm has hit. Aiden wants to show you guys. So we got some storage. This would be easier to put things, like shorter things, taller things, whatever. We are gonna order food now. I think for the rest of the night, we're just gonna unpack more. I don't know if you guys really wanna see. I will give you guys a rundown of the stuff and how our place is coming along tomorrow morning when there's natural light. Sorry that the lighting is terrible, but we don't have like proper lighting in here yet. We're just, we're making do with it. All I've been doing is washing dishes and cleaning them before we use them. I got a red curry, Aiden got a Penang curry, but very excited. Look how much curry there is. We got it from Chiang Mai. It's so good. I love ordering from there. I'm gonna text my manager because she's the one who gifted us it. And I'd be like, look what we got. We're gonna eat now. Bye.